Focus Connect back in the building. And man, I hope everybody having a good evening, man. If it's not going well, I hope it get better. But man, when you look at one thing, they got, they putting the rigmarole on Quando Rondo right now. When you hear what this prosecution got against him, when you hear how they coming at him with this situation, it sounds like it's a lot of personal things going on with this case. But it was something that was about to be brought up about something that happened in 2019 on this gang accusation. And the prosecution hurry up and shut that down because it, it was some information that was going to incriminate him as poking at Quando Rondo. His defense attorney got up and said he was a local hero, talking about how he do different things for the community, help his people out. And then they trying to set Quando Rondo a flight risk. That's one of the reasons they want to keep his bond. They want to deny his bond on this state charge. How would he be a flight risk when he only had one charge prior to this that was in 2016 and it was a theft of receiving stolen property? But you got these people coming in Quando Rondo like he a leader of the Rolling Sixties gang down there. And then you got other people that's on this indictment that some of them ain't even a part of the gang. He dude was kind of getting muffled up in his words saying, yeah, some of them. This the prosecution. He wasn't really sure because Quando Rondo got him a shot. He got a good lawyer that's going at this case in the right way. Whether he done these charges or not. It's a way the state got to go about doing their job, man. That's what these people get paid for. And it ain't even about choosing no side, but it's about getting justice in the court of law. You got Hunter Biden had this, this pistol charge. He out on it. But you got Boosie fighting tooth and nail just to get a bond. How you going to call a person a flight risk that you put the warrant out on them Thursday and they turn themselves in Friday? Argument that they stayed there saying that he been traveling back and forth to Atlanta, traveling back and forth to California. How can you hide with all of the social media that's out here, with the way they can track these phones, with the way they track people down? How would this man be a flight risk if he can't leave the country? If you're anywhere in the United States, how can you hide when you quando rondo? You're very popular and very noticeable because of your, your music for one, the situation with King Von, all this stuff that his name going in the headlines, Lil Pop. Where can he really go that people won't know him? Quando Rondo had two houses raided down there in Savannah, Georgia. That all his assets and everything, all his loved ones, he three, four, five, six generations tied into Savannah, Georgia. So where would he run to? What's the risk of him taking flight if all of his family and loved ones is there from his kids to his mama, grandmama, uncles, cousins, everything? It's all right there based in Savannah. Then you got another issue they raised that he posing a threat and danger to people with no sufficient evidence at all. How could he pose a threat to anybody when he only had one charge prior to this? The man was 2016. How old was Cornell? That was seven years ago. He probably was just turning 18. Probably really didn't have no money because they really railroaded him on it. And he didn't even get the, the first offender act to where if you get if you complete your probation. It'll be expunged off their record. And then they got this man locked up on all nonviolent charges and saying that they want to deny him a bond. And he only charged with four counts of the 49 counts in this conspiracy indictment. And they calling him the leader. They just show you when they want to railroad you, when they tired of you, when they just want to get you out the way. They show you the links that they go to. Man, you should see how frustrated this prosecutor was because Quando Rondo defense attorney was chewing him out. The defense attorney went first, which I thought the prosecution go first, and then you defend yourself. Quando Rondo shouldn't be in this situation because he only got that one prior charge six, seven years ago for receiving some stolen property. So, man, just look at how the game get played. Look at how they treat you and just think about Quando Rondo if he didn't have a good enough money to get a good attorney and to fight this battle for him. Because they saying that like the stuff over the phone, they saying that he uh, bringing in the Lowe's orchestrating drug deals and Quando Rondo lawyer pretty much saying that, yeah, he talking about getting some dope. He used drugs. So he basically just speaking on purchasing, not distributing. So, man, it's just a lot of different things. When you got a good lawyer, he going to comb through all that evidence and all that information with a fine tooth comb because that lawyer is there for you. But, and most definitely he's there for you because he going to get a good substantial paycheck out of you. So when you talking about dealing with these laws, dealing with this criminal justice system, man, you better have your chips together because if you ain't got your money right, as we can even see in Quando Rondo's first case, 
He didn't have his money right, so they railroaded him a first offender, and they didn't even let him get the first offender act. They just show you how much of a dirty game they play. I feel like sometimes they should tell you because what if after you catch this charge, you turn turn around and be a cleaned up citizen? Now you got to go through a situation of going down there paying and getting the expunged, different stuff like that. Why couldn't it have been in the plea agreement from the start? That's what show you that the system really be against a lot of black brothers, man, because you will see the different leniency different people get when they go to court, man. You will be sitting up in court, man. You will see a person go up there, have a same charge, get three years, the next person get 15. They just really looking at Quando Rondo for the simple fact he came up in the rap game. If you pay attention to these prosecutors, man, they really got something against Quando, and, and they trying to take their brother down with the most minimal charges they can have. And then you call this man the leader of the rolling sixties. They say this is one of the biggest gangs in Savannah, Georgia, and one of the most violent gangs in Savannah, Georgia. And this little piece of evidence that they trying to come out with, it really ain't adding up because they at once in one sense they saying that Quando Rondo told his homeboys, don't bring no firearms around me. Like if you in the car with me, don't bring no firearms. But they saying Quando Rondo was at a movie theater out at his event with his kids and stuff like that. And say he saw some members of, of some gang, but that's Quando Rondo and them up. But they saying that they got Quando Rondo on the phone calling his homeboys, telling them to bring the strap in, in a form of protection. Not bring them up here and shoot these guys up because nobody got shot in the situation. None of the guns was used. But Quando Rondo called his boys pretty much to the scene so he can be protected. So nothing wouldn't happen to him. So they really making it look like, okay, just because you're a rapper, just because you got a felony, you don't have no right to protect yourself. Some of these laws need to be revamped, man. And if you ain't no person that been shooting that pistol at people and you don't have no violent past dealing with firearms, they really shouldn't strip everybody their right because you got a lot of people that really would be responsible with them firearms. And like I say, if you really pay attention to Quando Rondo when he speaks, don't look at the way he looks. Just listen to how he speak. The dude got plenty of sense, man. So, you know, I just hate to see when people get in court, man, and I see how these lawyers railroad people, man. I see how these, these, these judges are do you. And one first thing I can say in this case, the judge is not being biased because she's correcting the prosecution. The defense as well when they, they jump a little bit too out of there. But man, it just looked like, you know, they got, they got enough stuff where they could just put it down on paper and they just really looking for this to get in front of a jury. And they, they rolling the dice on Quando Rondo. And anybody been in the streets when it was all hands on, you already know them certain police officers didn't like certain people. They didn't like certain hustlers. They didn't like certain thugs. And they came way more vicious at them particular people. And that's what it looked like going on with Quando Rondo. I think what we can agree with Boosie when he was saying it's best to move out your city. Because them same emotions... That the peers you once had develop them same emotions, them females, them dudes from your neighborhood develop and hating you and wanting to see you you lose your life. Guess what? The judges, the prosecutors, the police develop them same emotions. They develop a hatred for you.